Once upon a time, in a small town surrounded by dense woods, four adventurous friends decided to embark on a thrilling journey. Their names were Sarah, Mark, Emily, and Alex. They had heard whispers about a mysterious forest, rumored to be haunted by restless spirits. Determined to unravel the secrets of this eerie place, the friends gathered their backpacks, camping gear, and a sense of excitement that tinged with unease. They set off into the heart of the forest, guided only by the dim light filtering through the dense canopy of trees. As night descended upon the forest, the air grew heavy with a sense of foreboding. The trees seemed to whisper secrets, and shadows danced eerily around them. Unbeknownst to the friends, they had wandered into a realm where the line between the living and the dead blurred. Suddenly, a thick fog rolled in, swallowing the path behind them. Panic set in as they realized they were lost, trapped in a labyrinth of twisted trees and swirling mist. Their once confident steps transformed into hesitant whispers in the darkness. The forest played tricks on their minds, distorting reality and amplifying their fears. Strange noises echoed through the trees, as if unseen eyes watched their every move. Each step they took seemed to lead them deeper into the heart of an otherworldly nightmare. Exhausted and terrified, the friends stumbled upon an abandoned cabin nestled within the darkness. Its dilapidated form stood as a solemn warning, but desperation drove them to seek refuge within its decaying walls. Inside, the air hung heavy with the scent of decay. Cold drafts whispered through the cracks, and the sound of scurrying creatures echoed in the distance. Fear clutched their hearts as they realized they were not alone. Shadows danced across the walls, taking sinister forms that chilled their souls. Unseen hands brushed against their skin, and whispers filled their ears, seeping into their minds like a poison. One by one, the friends succumbed to the malevolent forces that lurked within the cabin's walls. Their screams echoed through the night, serving as a warning to those who dared enter the haunted woods. And so, dear listeners, the friends were lost forever, trapped in a realm between the living and the dead. Legends say that their anguished spirits still roam the forest to this day, forever searching for a way out. It was a calm autumn afternoon when my best friend Sarah and I decided to embark on a thrilling adventure. We had heard rumors of a mysterious forest deep within our town, a place said to be haunted by the spirits of the lost. Grimming with curiosity, we decided to explore it ourselves. Armed with nothing but a sense of adventure, we ventured into the woods. The dense foliage swallowed us whole, casting eerie shadows on our path. The wind whispered through the trees, as if warning us of the impending danger that lay ahead. As we wandered deeper into the forest, the trees seemed to close in around us, making it difficult to find our way back. Panic started to set in as darkness descended like a veil, obscuring our surroundings. With every step, our hearts pounded in our chests, and the silence weighed heavily upon us. Suddenly, Sarah let out a blood-curdling scream. I turned to find her standing frozen, her eyes wide with terror. Before us stood a towering figure, its grotesque features barely visible in the dim light. It emitted an otherworldly presence that sent shivers down our spines. Fear propelled us into action. We sprinted through the forest, branches scratching our faces and thorns tearing at our clothes. But the forest seemed to play tricks on us, distorting our sense of direction. Our attempts to find an escape route proved futile, and despair began to consume us. Exhausted and disoriented, we stumbled upon a small clearing. Desperation pushed us to take a moment to catch our breath. As we frantically scanned our surroundings, we noticed a flickering light in the distance. It was our only hope. With renewed determination, we pushed forward, following the ethereal glow. The forest seemed to grow more sinister, its malevolent energy palpable. We could feel it watching us, toying with us as we struggled to survive. But fate had different plans for us. Just as we reached the source of the light, a horrific creature emerged from the shadows. Its eyes glowed with a maleficent fire and its elongated limbs struck out with deadly precision. 
Sarah, unable to escape its clutches, met a grisly fate. I was left alone, trembling and broken. Survival instincts kicked in, urging me to run for my life. Through the labyrinthine paths of the forest, I raced, desperately seeking an escape. The creature pursued me relentlessly, its haunting cries echoing in the night. Miraculously, I stumbled upon the forest's edge. As I burst through the trees, gasping for breath, the creature vanished into the darkness. I collapsed on the ground, tears streaming down my face, mourning the loss of my friend. Years have passed since that fateful night, but the forest still haunts my dreams. The memories of that horrifying encounter linger, forever etched into my soul. I often wonder what secrets lie within those forbidden woods and what malevolent force claimed the lives of those who dared to explore it. To this day, I caution anyone who dares to venture into the depths of the forest. The spirits of the lost may have found their eternal resting place there, but their whispers continue to echo through the trees, a chilling reminder of the horrors that await the unwary. In the heart of our small town, nestled between rolling hills, lay a forest that had long been shrouded in mystery. Legends spoke of ancient rituals and dark spirits that roamed its depths. Intrigued by the tales, my friend Lily and I decided to delve into its secrets. As we entered the forest, a sense of foreboding washed over us. The air grew heavy and an eerie silence enveloped the surroundings. The towering pines cast elongated shadows that seemed to whisper secrets we couldn't decipher. Unbeknownst to us, the forest was not as benign as it appeared. We soon found ourselves trapped within its labyrinthine paths, disoriented and vulnerable. Unease settled in our hearts as we realized that something sinister lurked amidst the trees. The shadows danced and twisted, taking on grotesque shapes that seemed to mock our fear. Whispers filled the air, their words indecipherable yet laden with malice. We quickened our pace, desperate to escape the clutches of the forest's dark enchantment. As we pressed on, a chill ran down my spine. I turned to find Lily gone, her presence swallowed by the encroaching darkness. Panic surged within me as I called out her name, but the forest swallowed my cries, leaving only an unsettling silence in its wake. Fear gripped my heart as I realized I was alone. The forest seemed to close in around me, its ancient trees leaning closer as if to ensnare me in their grass. I stumbled forward, driven by a desperate hope of finding Lily and escaping the forest's clutches. With each step, the forest seemed to play tricks on my mind. Shadows twisted and contorted, taking on the forms of menacing creatures. Whispers grew louder, their voices filled with derision and madness. I fought to maintain my sanity as haunting visions plagued my every waking moment. Faces appeared in the mist, their eyes hollow and filled with despair. They beckoned me forward, their spectral hands reaching out as if to pull me deeper into the forest's grass. I resisted, my instincts screaming that to succumb would mean my doom. Through sheer determination, I stumbled upon a clearing bathed in an ethereal light. But as relief washed over me, I realized it was a false sanctuary. The forest's malevolent presence had one last test for me. From the shadows, a spectral figure emerged. Its eyes glowed with an otherworldly light, and its voice echoed with a haunting melody. It was the embodiment of the forest's dark spirit, seeking to claim my soul as its own. Summoning all my courage, I refused to submit to the forest's malevolence. I ran, dodging the creature's ethereal grasp. Its wails of frustration followed me as I broke free from the forest's clutches, stumbling into the safety of the outside world. Though I had escaped physically, the haunting memories of that forest would forever haunt my dreams. The shadows and whispers continued to plague my nights, a constant reminder of the malignant force that dwelled within the whispering pines. Thank you for watching Whispering Tales TV. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and join our community of fellow thrill seekers. Get ready for spine tingling stories that will keep you up at night. Let the whispering tales begin.